What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Uh, today we're focusing on uh, something I brought up about a year and a half ago. I'm going to bring it up again because I think it's relevant. Despite um, you know being getting a seal of approval from Peter Shirelli, Brad Marchand could very well be traded from the Boston Bruins. And uh, a year and a half ago, I brought up you know a trade centered around Brad Marchand and uh, a fir the first round pick in 2012, which turned up Malcolm Subban. For Evander Kane uh, from Winnipeg, and I think you can do that trade right now. Marshawn and Malcolm Subban for Kane. Who says no? Um, would be a good thing. And, you know, Marshawn's struggling this year, and, uh, you know, could definitely use a change of scenery. I'm not advocating trading him, but I think Evander Kane would be a great Boston Bruin. I've spoken about, you know, in the time, and ad nauseum how immature Kane can be on and off the ice, particularly when it comes to, you know, paying for his, you know, meal tab and. You know, stuff like that, but I feel if he comes to a Boston Bruins locker room where he has a guy like Marlon Lucic, who he won the Memorial Cup with for the Vancouver Giants, a guy like Joe McGillan, who he says he, you know, models the game after, his damn Chara, Bergeron, uh, Krejci, all those guys, you know, he, he'll be in a veteran laden locker room. It's not a knock on, you know, Andrew Ladd. And, uh, and those guys, but you know, to come to a team like the Boston Bruins that expects to win every year, and I think all due respect to Winnipeg, there's a sense of complacency within the organization that f came over from their Atlanta days. I think the honeymoon period is going to come to a crashing end with the fans uh, because, quite frankly, you know, just being back in Winnipeg and playing hockey isn't enough for those fans, and rightfully so. You know, that this should be a playoff team, and you know, uh, ownership and front office should be making the necessary moves to facilitate that. Um, you know, is trading away a 22-year-old power forward with 40 goal upside, you know, going to make that happen? No, but I, th I really feel change of scenery is what's best for Vanda Kane and uh, and um, and Mashan. And uh, you know, obviously they, they have a great young goalie like prospect Eric Comrie, but add Mel from Subban, who you know has had some ups and downs as an AHL rookie this season, uh, but is still a top flight goaltending prospect. You know, that's something else that'll definitely benefit. Um, you know, the, the the Jets going forward, and I really think Evander Kane on the line with uh, Patrice Bergeron and either Riley Smith or uh, Louis Erickson when he comes back, if he comes back, uh, would be awesome. And would really balance out, you know, the tenacity and the, and the grit and the, you know, the forwards that go to the high traffic areas with the throw the Bruins lineup. Uh, Kane's got 19 points in 30 games, not exactly great. Uh, he's playing almost 21 minutes a night. He's shooting the puck like crazy. He's got over 120 shots. I think he's second in the Jets behind uh, Bufflin. And, um, you know, I really think, like I said, change of scenery for him, change of scenery for Marshawn will be uh, would be great. And I think Marshawn would fit right in and kind of give the Jets the spunk that they need. You know, it would still be a score. You know, still be a 15-20 goal score. Uh, maybe even up to, you know, 30. You know, I think he'll have at least one more 30-goal season. I don't feel writing him off, but, um, you know, he's a hell of a hockey player, and I think having the Stanley Cup experience. And, uh, you know, if he does get traded, he's a guy that will be motivated to prove the Bruins wrong that they traded him, a la Tyler Sagan. And, um, you know, that could be a very intriguing storyline going forward. But I want to know from you guys, who says no? Boston Bruins or Winnipeg Jets? Brad Marchand and Malcolm Subban for Vander Kane. Anyway, that's what's up of the power play with CJ on a uh, possible Vanda Kane to Brad Marchand trade. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.